Okay, so uh, a while back did a trailer reaction for The Lodge. It looked very good, very creepy atmospheric. That whole, you know, trapped in the, the cabin uh, with the snow and everything else. Uh, either way, finally, it's out, so let's dive in. All right, got to let everybody know up front, it's going to be a spoiler-filled review, so if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Now, uh, in a nutshell, um, this is actually not at all about what the trailer presented it, uh, at least, you know, not in the big picture. Basically, uh, husband and wife, um, wife's got the kids, she brings them over to the hubby's house, he tells her that uh, they need to finalize divorce, and she kills herself in an awesome and shocking way to start the movie off. Um, so, six months later, Dad uh, basically says, hey kids, I want you to go hang out with my new chick, and hilarity ensues. All right, we start off with likes, and right off the bat, this was original. Thank you so much. Uh, like I said, not at all what the trailer was like. Um, it's basically that, you know, um, Dad gets a uh, you know, new girlfriend, who's super cool and nice, and his little shit kids decide to torture her because they're bratty assholes, self-centered pieces of shit, till basically she snaps and they pay the price, which is brilliant. Oh, so cool. And yes, of course, the ending is quote unquote left ambiguous, but it's not. Those two little brats got what they deserved. Um, you know, it's ironic that the only real innocent in the whole thing is, is the father. He, he did nothing wrong, you know. Um, relationships end. That's, uh, you know, wah, get over it, you little brats. I mean, good lord. And, you know, obviously the theme running uh, throughout the film is to, to take that, you know, obviously the writer director is the... Uh, <coughs> product of divorce, shall we say, uh, which is cool. And they're going to take that and run it to the extreme, which is, is nice because by the same token, the wife blowing her brains out is the extreme reaction to that. Um, uh, but again, that was so, so well done and so shocking. I love that. That was some really timed work there between the gun, the bone, out the back of the head, one shot, brilliant, perfect. More films should actually do that instead of like she puts the gun and then they cut and you know they're setting up a special effect. Uh, but nonetheless, this was, was absolutely brilliantly well done. Um, you know, and kudos to, to everybody involved from the standpoint that it was very, very atmospheric, very well shot. You got that isolation out there in the, the, the cabin in the woods, even though it was really snowing. Um, you know, the transition on the girlfriend to, to complete broken mentally. And she, she's got her occult history background, which, you know, love the cults. Uh, but again, it was really all these two little shit kids who just couldn't get over mommy nah, um, that caused all the problems. And, you know, hopefully they, they die absolutely horribly, like, like they deserve to. Um, you know, and I also thought it was absolutely brilliant that, you know, it's subtle, but again, this is credit for the writing, that the real break, the real disconnect came with the absolutely horrifying and tragic, and I wish they would not do this in films, but the, the death of the dog. Why? Because prior to that, you know, as the daughter of a cult leader, and as explaining that her father was basically a piece of shit that, you know, guilted her with this religious crap and told her what to do, blah, 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 the dog, was, she stated the only thing she ever got for herself, you know? So when these little asshole kids you know, caused the death of this dog. And yes, they didn't kill it, but they let it out in the middle of frickin' winter with no food, no water. I mean, give me a break. They knew, you know, uh, fucking kids. Uh, nonetheless, that was the break, and that was absolutely perfect. That's well done, because, you know, their psychological tortures, obviously she survived the cult, so she could probably survive a lot of that crap. Them, you know, hiding food and, you know, moving around this, that, the other thing. But, but the dog really... The only thing she'd ever done for herself was, was it. The snap was after, uh, and then it flows down from there. So, yeah, so much to love about this. So wonderfully done, so original. Um, just, yeah, accolades all around. 
Uh, it was dislikes time, and I have to say, I have nothing to dislike about the film. I dislike that this uh, did not get a theatrical release, didn't get wider notoriety. I'll be very curious to see what the interest level is on this. Um, this is really an absolute must-see. All right, it is pinhead time, and you know, looking back, man, we have had actually a phenomenal 2020. Um, you know, uh, there's been some real top shelf uh, films, and this joins them. Uh, without question, I'm easy to do this. Out of five possible pinheads, I'm gonna give this five pinheads. Go see it. All right, so what did you guys think? Please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, no doubt that there's gonna be some talk on this one, um, you know, I did not use in my review the old term slow burn, but I suspect others will. Um, you know, this is not your slasher flick, but that's fine. It is mm, to be savored.